All right, in this video, we can cry together because I sold out of this launch pad. Ah, oh, you can see here Blocktopia did 700x. Thankfully, I was actually part of this. This is my very last IDO that I did with them. Don't get cheated. This is not actually what you would get. This is the high, right? Nobody can sell on tops, it's almost impossible. Octopia would have been nearly impossible to sell on 700x, but I sold on like 300x, so who can complain? Hulk Fantasy, um, I saw it actually when it was 67x, and I didn't sell it. Um, I didn't even get it through Trustpad though, so... Yeah, Jim Guardian, I still hold, it's vested, etc. But let's go over this, shall we? We start back down here. Um, I did a video on this actually that you can see bull perks you're aware of already. This is a ideal launch pad that I discussed. It's actually a really good one and I like it a lot. Um, but all of these are done. So I started around F and DZ. FNDZ did very well, actually. I don't remember what it did, but it did phenomenally well. Um, Octane did not do well. Flourishing Capital did decent. The Hustle, like, 10x, like, 20x. This is horrible right now. This is probably, like, the same or negative. Amasa did horrible. Continuum did, like, 10x. Gov, don't remember. I have no idea what happened to this one. Maybe I just dumped my tokens and forgot about it. Blocktopia was the final one I did, and um, this one did... Everybody's heard of Blocktopia at this point. It's a miracle. Um, so yeah, you can see here that you have the 1x ratio, which is... I like how they really level this out, like... To explain what you're getting for the allocations. So... If you had 1x weight, you'd be getting $40 worth. And if we take a look at what they have, so actually the reason why I left was because they upped the tier amounts for guaranteed. Um, where is it? So it used to be, I think, 7,500 TPAD for member level, and then they doubled it or something like that. And I was really annoyed because... You know, I got in at a good price and I was like, okay, well, I'm already up on my token a little bit. I might as well just bail. Sadly enough, when I tried to bail, the price tanked and I pretty much broke even. Um, but I would have been up by more than double if I had still kept my, my tokens. There's always going to be these cases in crypto. I really just want to cover this um, other than the sad story that I sold stupidly, uh, which we all make tons of mistakes. And no, I'm not beating myself up. I'm just kind of just joking around. Um, as for regret, like, you know, it's okay. So if you want to get in this, you're going to have to spend quite a lot of money. This is pretty much $15,000 at this point. It's like 80 cents. So it's actually 0 0.8 times 15,000, whatever that is. That's like what? Um, $3,000 less. So $12,000 that you'd have to spend just to get guaranteed, which is a lot of money. Um. So just take into that account. And your allocations are really small, right? Octopia. Oh, so disclaimer, it's 2x at this point. So you'd be getting 2x of this. Blocktopia, obviously, I got $22 worth. Um, Welfare token would have been uh $80 worth. This would have been $120 worth. This would have been $32 worth, $42. So you can see one of the reasons why I didn't like this was you're paying a lot of money. You're paying $12,000 just for a tiny allocation of 40 bucks, 60 bucks. Like that's really, really bad to me when there's other opportunities out there. So I would say if you got in early, then yeah, this is a great one. If you didn't, this is still something that I would say is a really bad idea. Um, and you can just do the math on this. But what I like about this is this. You're literally seeing so many upcoming that it's wild. Like, I don't know how they secured this amount, but registration closes one day. 
one day, one day, two days, eight days, 10 days, 14 days. Like they got things lined up like no other launch pad that I'm aware of. I've never seen a launch pad just launch like this many. And some of these are games and the games are probably going to crush it. Now, what I would think of doing is looking into these projects and being like, you know what? I like Moon Monster. Let's see where else they are doing IDOs at. So we'll spend the time to do that, actually. Soul Chicks, I've heard of a lot of. I thought this was a free NFT or something, so I'm very confused what this is. But maybe they're trying to do a, a, a coin, too. That's very weird. Um, this is a game which is going to do very well. NFTs, maybe it'll do well. I don't know. This is a game. I think this will do better. You know what? Let's check this one, too. So Moo Monster uh, looks cute. The reality is is something like this in the real world would not really work. It's just crypto has so much hype that it's like, geez, everybody's launching land now. Everybody's trying to be a metaverse. Every like Ugh. Yeah, this gameplay sucks too. I would still invest in it 100% because I think it'll 10x. But you're really looking for the coins are the games that are going to do phenomenally well. And I don't think, sorry guys, I don't think this game is going to do that well. I think it's going to be one of those things that you see disappear over time. Um, And all this nonsense, like everybody's ready to dump money on you at this point. It really doesn't matter. Everything's going to blow up. So I don't know where they're showing Moo Monster IDO launch. Oh my god, Ben Star no comment. Boy. Moon Edge, nice. Oh no, wait, that's blockchain. Yeah, so I might need to go to Crypto Rank and look at this. I'm not sure. If you haven't checked out the Crypto Rank, oh, that looks cooler. If you haven't checked out the Crypto Rank video, I would do that. It gives you a very good idea of a whole bunch of IDOs, where they launch, etc. You can take a look at that. Um, this game already looks a little bit better to me, but you never know. I don't really care about that. For me, one of the things that I like to see for a game is if Animoca Brands has invested in it. To me, that'd like be really awesome. Um, it's just annoying that showing where the but you know what? Maybe if we just look at the investors, we can see. So maybe this DAO is a launch pad. I don't know. Oxbull. Oxbull is a launch pad. Pools is a launch pad. Um, so I bet it'll be on these three launch pads and you could look in to see if you can find a cheaper price for these launch pads and just see, because even though Trustpad is good, it's not something that like budget effective, right? It's something that like, if you have money to dump, then in my opinion, you should be going for something wild, right? You should be going for like this, this, this one, which is going to cost you what? Maybe. I don't know, $77,000, um, which is a lot of money. And so that way you can get these 14 X's because this just launches, you know, ideas out the, out the butt. Uh, and one of them should be fire like Blocktopia, but say you did get 14 X, right? You would be talking about, um, here you'd be talking about what almost four, four, X so four hundred like thirty bucks or something like that, um. But if we look at past history, you know, I'm just gonna times it by ten so it's easy, right? You'd be looking at like hundred forty bucks here, hundred fifty bucks here. You'd be looking at like uh one ninety bucks or something like that. So you'd be getting a decent allocation, but what you had to spend like forty thousand. I mean, for, what was it? $77,000 just to get in like at small allocations like to me that's just it's just really bad if you know of my other launch pads that I mentioned right we are talking about allocation sizes of like 
$500 for a very cheap buy-in. And so to me, this launchpad doesn't make sense, but it's absolute fire if you got in early because you would have paid half the price and you'd be riding the wave up and the levels would make sense for you at that point. Um, I realize this is me kind of rambling. I hope this is providing value. Um, I have been in this project, as I mentioned, for quite some time, about a month. Thankfully, I caught Polka Fantasy. Um, just to recap this, I actually found this, like, I used to do Amazon FBA, or I still do it. But um, research methods that I learned there, I pretty much applied, and you don't need, like, big brain to be able to do this but when i got into polka fantasy which was not their trust pad i was like okay this just did an insane amount let me look at what other launch pads launched it so i found trust pad by looking at polka fantasy and i got into it for another one so i was like okay let me buy in i bought in and i jumped in all of these i jumped in one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ideos before i finally sold out and blocktopia alone made back as you guys know, like quite a lot of money, even with $20, that was like $10,000 out. It's vested, unfortunately, but um, this was the, the GOAT. Um, I don't, and I haven't researched what these have done, but I'm sure they've done well. I know I did some research in the past just to look for my own sake of like what X's these did, and they all did actually fairly decent X's. So I still think this is a good launch pad, only if you have a lot of money to recap. I do think that they're launching some solid IDOs and they're like, again, they do the most I've ever seen. So I really think this is a good one. It's just for efficiency of your money. It's something that you really need to consider of maybe this isn't best for you. And managing all these IDOs is going to be a pain in the butt because you're like literally dropping time on, on all of these and scheduling your time because they launch so much for really tiny allocations. You can see here their total raise is horrible. For them to charge this much to me is wild for how little they're able to raise. Um, so yeah, but I would have loved to stay in just because price has doubled, right? You can't go wrong with that. And that was quite a few thousands of dollars. So yeah. Anyway, thanks guys for watching. Please subscribe to the channel if you love hearing about IDOs and even NFTs and technical analysis and things like that. Um, please join the discord as well we are lit there um a lot of really cool people there and we're sharing a lot of alpha there yes we do help novices as well but you shouldn't be just taking massive value out of us and not giving back in some way um i'm really liking what's happening there and i do have some future plans for the discord i will say it's going to get harder for you to get og status in the discord and then to get the next status of journeyman which unlocks you know, some deeper research, you're not going to get that unless you actually contribute. And that research is actually really, really nice. Um, but yeah, join the Discord. It's a really cool community and I know you guys will like it. So thanks guys for watching and have a good day.